Greetings, valued viewers. You're tuned into The Big Reset Investment, your hub for insightful perspectives on the world of finance. We're here to shed light on the complexities of the financial world, providing you with the knowledge you need to navigate these tumultuous times. In an era marked by economic uncertainties, it's more important than ever to understand the shifts taking place right under our noses. This isn't just about staying afloat, it's about seizing opportunities and making the most of the changing tides. Today, we have a treat for you. We're diving deep into the thoughts of Rafi Farber, a renowned financial analyst known for his astute observations and unerring predictions. We'll be exploring the dramatic surge in gold and silver prices, discussing the potential collapse of the banking system, and examining the future of fiat currency, particularly the US dollar. So buckle up as we embark on this enlightening journey. Today we delve into the mind of Rafi Farber as we discuss the dramatic price pump in gold and silver, the impending collapse of the banking system, and the fate of fiat currency. Renowned financial analyst Rafi Farber has some intriguing views on the current state of our economic system. Rafi is no ordinary analyst. With a rich background in economics and a keen eye for market trends, he spent years developing a deep understanding of the global financial landscape. Rafi Farber's name is synonymous with cutting-edge financial insights. His expertise is backed by a wealth of experience in the financial sector, a keen understanding of market dynamics, and an unerring ability to read between the lines of economic forecasts. Now let's delve into some of his views that have caught our attention recently. One of his most interesting observations is about the significant price surge in gold and silver. He believes that this price pump is not just a random market fluctuation, Instead, it's a sign of an impending shift in the global economic order. According to Rafi, the increasing value of these precious metals is an indicator of a fundamental realignment happening within our economic system. He suggests that the traditional banking system as we know it, is on the brink of a significant transformation. Rafi's insights into the price pump in gold and silver are not just based on speculation. They are rooted in a meticulous analysis of market trends, economic indicators, and a deep understanding of the historical role these metals have played in our economy. Gold and silver in his view aren't just commodities, they are a reflection of our belief in the economic system. When their prices rise dramatically, it's a signal that our faith in conventional financial institutions is waning. Rafi's perspective on the economic system is both enlightening and thought-provoking. His views provide us with a fresh perspective on the movements in the gold and silver markets, urging us to think beyond the surface and understand the deeper implications of these trends. As we delve deeper, it becomes clear that these precious metals could play a crucial role in the days to come. Rafi's insights suggest that we might be on the cusp of a new era in global finance, where gold and silver could emerge as safe havens amidst a turbulent financial landscape. Gold and silver, always symbols of wealth, are now experiencing a significant price surge. Rafi Farber, a renowned market analyst, has some intriguing insights about this phenomenon. Farber's perspective on the price pump in gold and silver is that it's closely tied to the current state of the global economy. He believes that the economic uncertainty, due to factors such as geopolitical tensions and financial market volatility, is driving investors towards these precious metals as safe havens. According to Farber, gold and silver have always been seen as reliable stores of value, especially in times of economic crisis. And right now, with economies around the world grappling with the effects of a global pandemic and the subsequent financial fallout, investors are flocking to these metals, causing their prices to skyrocket. But what does this price surge mean for the economy and for investors? Well, Farber suggests that this could be a double-edged sword. On one side, those who have already invested in gold and silver are seeing their investments grow. They are reaping the benefits of this price pump, and are likely to continue doing so as long as the economic instability persists. However, on the other side, this surge in prices is also indicative of an underlying economic instability. It's a signal of the lack of confidence in traditional fiat currencies and the banking system at large. This could lead to a shift in the economic landscape as we know it, causing potential disruptions and challenges. As for new investors considering gold and silver, Farber advises caution. While these metals are indeed showing promising returns, the high prices also mean a higher barrier to entry. Plus, the volatility of the market cannot be ignored. Prices may be high now, but there's always the risk of a sudden drop. Farber also points out the importance of understanding the difference between physical gold and silver and their financial derivatives. 
The actual metals are tangible assets that you can hold in your hand, while financial derivatives are contracts that derive their value from the performance of the underlying asset. The latter can be more volatile and come with their own set of risks, so investors need to be aware of this when making their decisions. In conclusion, Farber sees the price pump in gold and silver as a symptom of a larger economic issue. It's a reaction to the uncertainty and instability of the current economic climate. However, he also sees it as an opportunity for those who are prepared and understand the risks involved. But, as Farber suggests, this price pump might be more than just a passing trend. It could be a harbinger of significant changes to come in the world of finance and investment. So whether you're an investor or just an interested observer, it's a phenomenon worth keeping an eye on. Our banking system, the very foundation of our economy, is showing signs of instability. This is the stark reality we face as put forth by Rafi Farber. According to Farber, we are teetering on the brink of a potential economic catastrophe, a collapse of the banking system that could send shockwaves through every aspect of our lives. Farber, a seasoned market analyst, has been keeping a close eye on the global financial landscape. He's noticed a disturbing trend. The banking sector, the backbone of our economy, is becoming increasingly fragile. Banks, once considered as safe as houses, are now burdened with unsustainable levels of debt, and their traditional business models are being challenged by disruptive digital technologies. Furthermore, central banks' policy of near-zero interest rates has led to an environment of cheap credit, encouraging reckless borrowing and inflating asset bubbles. It's a precarious house of cards that Farber warns could come tumbling down at any moment. But what does this potential collapse of the banking system mean for us? Well, firstly, it could lead to widespread financial panic. Banks could fail, leaving depositors unable to access their money. Businesses could struggle to secure loans, stunting economic growth and leading to increased unemployment. The stock market could plummet, wiping out trillions of dollars in wealth. Secondly, it could trigger a currency crisis. With trust in banks eroded, people could lose faith in the fiat currency system itself. This could lead to hyperinflation, as happened in countries like Zimbabwe and Venezuela, where the value of money became so eroded that it was practically worthless. Lastly, it could lead to a social crisis. The loss of financial stability could cause civil unrest, as people struggle to cope with the fallout. We've seen this happen before in history, with economic crises often leading to political upheaval and social tension, but it's not all doom and gloom. Farber believes that there are ways to navigate this potential crisis. By being informed and prepared, we can take steps to protect our financial future. This includes diversifying our investments, reducing our reliance on debt, and considering alternative forms of wealth preservation, such as gold and silver. The warning signs are there and according to Farber the collapse of the banking system could have a domino effect. However, it's important to remember that these are possibilities, not certainties. The future of our economy is not set in stone, and there are many factors at play, but by being aware of the potential risks, we can better prepare for whatever lies ahead. As the banking system teeters, the future of fiat currency, particularly the US dollar, hangs in the balance. Rafi Farber, a financial analyst with a keen eye for the bigger economic picture, has been vocal about his predictions regarding the fate of fiat currencies. He argues that the current financial system, which is heavily reliant on fiat currencies like the US dollar, is not sustainable. He points to the inevitable inflation and the increasing debt burdens that these currencies bring along. Farber's views are rooted in the fundamental understanding of what a fiat currency is. It's money that a government has declared to be legal tender, but it's not backed by a physical commodity. The value of fiat money is derived from the relationship between supply and demand and the stability of the issuing government, rather than the worth of a commodity backing it like gold or silver. This is where Farber's concerns lie. He argues that the unprecedented increase in the supply of these fiat currencies, particularly the US dollar, is leading to their devaluation. Central banks around the world have been printing money at an alarming rate, trying to stimulate economies ravaged by global events. But this, Farber suggests, is a dangerous game. He predicts that this will lead to a hyperinflation scenario, similar to what we've seen in countries like Venezuela or Zimbabwe. In such a situation, the value of the money decreases drastically and prices for goods and services skyrocket. This could potentially lead to an economic collapse on a global scale since the US dollar is the world's reserve currency. The impact would be felt by everyone, from the everyday consumer to the largest corporations. But what does this mean for the future of fiat currencies? 
According to Farber, the system is bound to reset. He believes that there will be a shift away from a fiat currency system to one that is backed by a tangible asset. The trust in the government-issued money is eroding, and people will start looking for alternatives. This is not the first time we're hearing such predictions. History is filled with instances where the dominant currency has changed. From the Roman denarius to the British pound each had their moment in the sun and each fell from grace. The US dollar, Farber argues, is no different. However, Farber is not all doom and gloom. Amidst all this uncertainty, he suggests a glimmer of hope, a safe haven, if you will, that has been a store of value for thousands of years. In these uncertain times, Farber suggests there might be a safe haven. Amidst the financial chaos, Farber sees gold as a beacon of stability. Now, why would he make such a claim? Well, let's dive into it. In the face of a financial crisis, traditional forms of wealth storage, such as banks and fiat currencies, can become unstable and unreliable. As we've seen in the past, banks can fail and currencies can crash. However, gold, with its intrinsic value, has stood the test of time. It's been a reliable store of value for thousands of years, long before the creation of modern banking systems and fiat currencies. Farber believes that gold could be the safe haven for wealth in the event of a financial crisis. He argues that the value of gold isn't dependent on the stability of a particular government or economic system. Rather, it's dependent on its scarcity and universal desirability. This makes gold a resilient and reliable asset, especially in times of economic uncertainty. For investors, this has significant implications. If Farber's predictions are correct, then in an economic crisis the value of fiat currencies could plummet, while the value of gold remains stable or even increases. This could provide investors with a safety net, protecting their wealth from the instability of the financial system. However, it's not just about protection. Investing in gold could also be a strategic move. As fiat currencies lose value, the relative value of gold could increase, providing investors with the opportunity to grow their wealth. In essence, Farber sees gold not just as a lifeboat in a storm, but as a vessel that could carry us towards prosperity amidst a financial crisis. It's a bold claim but one that carries a certain amount of weight. After all, gold has been a symbol of wealth and stability for millennia. So, whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out it may be worth considering gold as a part of your investment strategy. As Farber suggests it could provide you with a safety net in times of financial uncertainty and a potential growth opportunity. As we navigate these economic currents, Farber's insights could be the compass guiding us to safer shores. As we conclude our journey through Farber's financial forecast, it's clear we're in for some turbulent times. Farber's foresight has unveiled a future where gold and silver prices soar, where the banking system we've known collapses, and the fiat currency, particularly the US dollar, faces its fate. He's painted a picture of a world where traditional financial norms are upended, but within this chaos, Farber points to the glimmer of opportunity, the safe haven that gold offers. Amidst the wreckage of the banking system, gold stands as a beacon, promising a transfer of wealth and security in an uncertain economy. This, in essence, is the crux of Farber's views. For investors, it's a call to action, to navigate the storm by anchoring in the safe harbors of gold. Thank you for joining us on The Big Reset Investment. Remember to subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.